I'm Paula Nutting, your musculoskeletal specialist, and today's video is concentrating more on the upper body. Previous videos we've looked at the core and the core stability, our thoracics and how they support us, and we're going to travel right up the line to look at how strong the neck sits on the shoulders and allows the head to sit on the neck. What you'll see is a lot of people that carry their heads forward like this. Uh, they seem to be trying to be somewhere before they've actually got there. Uh, in Seinfeld he says, in my mind I'm already there and I think that's alright for about 90% of people on this planet. Anyway, what happens is these great big long deep neck muscles override the smaller, just as important deep neck flexors. And the two muscles are supposed to work together in a beautiful union and what's happened now is we're in such a stressful rush the poor old deep neck flexors are left far behind. Rosie is a perfect example of having overdeveloped sternocleidomastoid muscles, so our SCMs. I'm going to test to see if they're overriding and that the poor old deep neck flexors are working or not. I'm guessing that we might get a positive result here and then I can show you exactly how to turn them on. Alright, Ros, can you lift your head off the table for me? I'm just going to apply a light pressure a light pressure down to see if she could maintain strength in the neck muscles, which she couldn't. Right, now it's time to activate them. Simple way is these neurolymphatic points, the Chapman reflex points, to feed those neck muscles by just sitting on the top of the collarbone. So if you feel down your own collarbone and you'll come to that central dip, the two little bones on either side. That's exactly where we're working on. And we're rubbing lightly, because don't forget, these are all neurolymphatic points, so they're really just under the skin. Not big and deep, quite light. Now, a lot of people are weak through here, so these two points are one area, but there's a second really important area that we need to work on, and that's at the back of the neck. So, Roz, I'm gonna get you to sit up, and I'm gonna show where the other point that I have to work on. All right, up you come. So, looking at the base of the neck where it reaches the shoulders, we've got the bottom of the cervicals and the top of the first thoracic. And again, light but vigorous. Everything is 30 seconds, so light, vigorous activation stimulates the nerves that stimulate the muscle and makes the muscle strong. And that's what we're trying to do here. If you don't have strong muscles, you won't have long muscles. We need strength to give us the length. Okay, Roz, down you go again. Fingers crossed, let's see how we've gone. Okay, Roz, head up for me. Hold it up there. Okay, and down you go. Felt stronger? Much, much stronger. It's a powerful, powerful way to turn muscles on to make your body strong and functional every single day. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. It's been a pleasure. I would love for you to see many, many more that I have to offer. I want you to jump onto my newsletter and subscribe. And I'd love you to go to my website to see what else I've got involved. Thanks.